Hey guys, welcome back. I have a question for you. What is your media consumption? How do you consume social media? What do you feel when you go through other people's social media? Sometimes I think we are all pretty guilty of it. I know I can be guilty of it myself as you'll spend a good chunk of time just scrolling mindlessly through somebody's Instagram feed or their Facebook feed, maybe through their, their uh, tweets as well. And it can work two ways. It can positively or negatively affect how we begin to feel about ourselves. Some Instagram feeds or, or Facebook feeds can be very empowering, very um, inspirational and enlightening and can really, you know, help us throughout the day. And then there's also some, you know, feeds not necessarily intentionally trying to, to make us feel bad, but we start to compare ourselves to their opportunities to maybe travel, maybe romantic relationships. We start to wonder how we stack up if maybe they have had, you know, an opportunity that we would like to have ourselves. It just hasn't yet quite turned out that way. Um, and we can start to feel bad or, or to feel inadequate uh, in certain areas of our lives. So really, it's important to be mindful to take an inventory and, and really check in and ask ourselves why we're spending the time on the social media and also ask ourselves how it's affecting um, how we feel about ourselves. And also not only just taking a, a look at our intake of social media, but what do you put out there for people to see as well? Are you giving the true depiction of who you are or are you trying to make yourself appear a certain way, make your life appear a certain way um, and trying to maybe maybe look like you're living a, a type of life that you think other people want you to be living or are assuming that you are living. So really being mindful and, and taking a look at your awareness of real versus real because sometimes when we look through social media social media we're looking through somebody's highlight reel right we're not looking at you know somebody's you know maybe embarrassing moment of the day or, or their bad moment of the day or or the hardships and the struggles the blood sweat and tears that it took them to get to all these wonderful opportunities that are not coming to them we don't necessarily see the work um behind where they are right now uh, in, in a snapshot, in, in, a, in a little photo reel, a little highlight reel on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. Social media is a very powerful um, forum for us to get our messages across. And there's a, there's a way to use social media for good, and there's a way to use social media, social media for um, less than good. I don't want to use the word bad, but less than good, less than favorable um, reasons or purposes. So really learn to be mindful with how much social media intake you have in a day. How is it contributing to your life? How is it contributing to how you feel about yourself? And, and then also, how are you using social media and the power that it has to do good, to serve, and to, to give people maybe a little more inspiration in the day, maybe a little bit more um, comfort in who they are? How can you be more you on social media and then let that be an, invita an invitation for someone to be more them as well on social media. How can you be more truthful and more honest and more real on your highlight reel in your social media forums? Because all you need to do is be you. It's already enough from my heart to teach every one of yours. Namaste.